So today, we have two alien life forms going head to head. The alien, the xenomorph, taking on the quiet place monster, or the death angel. Who wins? Let's find out. So, start off with strength. Uh, death angels are insanely strong. One completely crushed a raccoon with one simple hit. Like It was like a stomp, more like. And it shattered every bone in this poor guy's body. They've busted through metal walls, shattered wooden doors, smashed through a vault door, absolutely ragdolled people, and knocked over cars with ease. They've also seemingly wiped out most of life on Earth, uh, so that would presumably mean wildlife too, like bears, lions, tigers, and even elephants. Uh, but Xenomorphs um, have ripped people in half, ripped androids apart, dented in or busted through reinforced bunker doors, smashed through or into steel doors and grates, and they've matched predators, overpowered them, and killed them, even lifting one up with their, uh, with its tail. Um, I'd say they're fairly even here. Um, so, let's talk about durability. Aliens are bulletproof, at least to, to most conventional bullets, uh, and blades have been seen breaking over their skin. They've been set ablaze and electrocuted on a high voltage and kept on going, and shotgun shots only momentarily stunned them. Um, they've taken hits from predators, too, like being smashed through several stone columns, one even kept going after being doused in a few tons of molten lead. But the Death Angel's outer layer of skin is like an exoskeleton and acts as tough armor. They've just ignored being set on fire. Military-grade weaponry and shotgun blasts do nothing to them. They're bulletproof, like completely, uh, without a doubt, bulletproof. They survive the destruction of their home planet the vacuum of space, and crash landing on Earth via meteors. Um, they've, they're basically indestructible, except a high-frequency sound. This forces them to expose their soft, vulnerable underskin, which is the only way to hurt and or kill them. Uh, Death Angels are more durable. Uh, speed. Death Angels are insanely fast. Like, They've easily outpaced speeding cars and ran across an entire cornfield in mere moments. It only took them a matter of a few months to wipe out most life on Earth. But aliens move so fast that trained gunmen can't react in time, or they can't even keep up. Uh, move faster than the eye could follow, and they've even blitzed predators before. Uh, I'd say the alien has the edge here, especially in agility. They can just turn uh, at a faster rate and whatnot. Uh, so physically, they're fairly even. The Death Angel is certainly um, more durable. I'd say they're pretty equal in strength. And the alien has the advantage of speed and agility. Now let's talk about their traits and whatnot. Aliens have long, razor-sharp claws. Their tails are long and powerful and have a razor-sharp blade-like tip to it that has pierced all the way through a predator uh, and then lifted the predator up several feet into the air. They have a prehensile, a prehensile inner mouth in their mouth that can be projected out at great speeds with enough force to pierce straight through a predator's biomass and their skull in just one go, one bang. That means they, they've easily done it to human skulls as well. Uh, there's not much that this thing hasn't shown that it can't go through. Um, and they have a great defensive mechanism. Their blood is highly acidic to the point it can melt and burn through basically anything uh, very, very quickly. With, the, with a few exceptions. It's not completely fallible. Like their own skin... Uh, it won't burn through its own skin, obviously. Predator's armor has been able to withstand, uh, withstand a lot of it. Uh, so they're not completely... Uh, it's not like a for sure way to hurt uh, a target or anything. If I could talk, that would be great. <laughs> uh, but you get my point. It's a great defense mechanism against most of their targets. Um, 
These things are incredibly powerful, remorseless, and intelligent hunters being excellent at stealth and great problem solvers. Uh, they're hardwired to only live and hunt for the sole purpose to reproduce, nothing else. And they've been called the most dangerous living things in the Milky Way galaxy. Um, and, and, and the perfect organism. But the Death Angel's home planet was lightless, completely making them blind. Um, like there was no light there at all, it was just darkness. Um, so they adapted to having an incredible acute sense of hearing, capable of hearing the smallest of sounds from several hundreds feet away. They can hear through soundproof walls, and the mere fact that people have to carefully walk around barefooted implies that cr crunching on leaves and other things on with their feet is just too loud um, and will be heard by the death angels. Their hearing is better than most, if not all, animals. And I've even uh, seen it being called 3,000 times better than that of a human. Um, however, in order to use this hearing, they have to expose their vulnerable soft inner skin, which makes them susceptible uh, to attacks. Um, they have large claws that have easily pierced through metal, and they're very powerful and stealthy hunters, with killing being their sole purpose. So, who wins? Which alien will come out on top? Well, strength is fairly even. Death angels are much more durable, but the Xeno is much more agile, and has more weapons as well. I even think the Xeno are the better hunters. Uh, but as soon as it makes a sound, whether it's a hiss or just a wrong step, uh, the Death Angel will be on it in an instant. That's how good its hearing is. Uh, so, can the Xeno even hurt the Death Angel? Well, its claws and tail won't be able to. I don't think the alien would be able to get to the death angel into position to use its prehensile inner mouth. But what about the ascetic blood? I'm going to let y'all know. I, I'm not sure. Uh, predators have a natural resistance to it, but that could be an adaptation from hunting them for millions of years. But the death angels are just so durable, and I would think that they would at least be resistant to it that armor is no joke it is fireproof i'm sure like electric shocks don't do anything to it uh completely bulletproof uh and not to mention explosion proof i mean these guys took out the big powerhouses uh, military powerhouses of the world and that includes like tank fire and and artilleries and all those explosions and it just didn't stop these guys crash landing on earth with the force of at least a nuclear bomb, did not stop these guys one bit. And so I just have a hard time believing that acid blood would stop one as well. Like, I just have a hard time believing that. And I think that's just it. The Xenomorph won't be able to really hurt the Death Angel, while you can't say that the other way around. The Death Angel will be smashing the alien to bits. I'm signing with the Death Angel. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you thought and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.